Hi, a very good morning to all those rose lovers and welcome back to my garden for the last few times as we are starting to slowly enter the uh, enter into autumn and most of our roses are starting to uh, to to be on its last few blooms of the flowering season and it is such a shame just to know that our flower rose season is almost over as we all know roses do take a lot of time and dedication in order to give its full potential of blooms and the ones in front of me here is a rose called Lady Shallot and James L Austin and these two are an absolutely amazing roses for me really done super super well and same goes to uh, Olivia Rose Austin but did you know orchids flower and flushes as well I bet you never knew that so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invite you into my house and show you what I'm talking about it really is absolutely crazy and the, the Bagoli here has done a fantastic job I've only installed this uh, only a couple of years ago and I'm really really happy that how it's uh, provided me shade and from being wet when it's starting to when it rains and this is where I spend a lot of my time when it's very very sunny or very very wet and I get to enjoy my uh, my garden 365 days a year and I've also installed cameras so I can overlook my roses when I'm at work and I do spend a lot of my time at work but uh, yeah let me take you inside my house and have a look at my orchids so this is where I spend a lot of my uh, a lot of the, well this is more like my living space and my kitchen dining room and those roses you see there my wife asked me uh, to cut them out from the garden and bring it inside my heart almost fell to the floor as I don't normally cut flowers and I just find it's just such a shame to uh, uh, to, to, to prune it off the tree so what I did was I cut some uh, some <laughs> some spent blooms and the ones that I uh, I didn't like God bless her she's just trying to be very romantic perhaps uh, not the uh, the ideal room to be in. but there you have it those are the orchids what I'm talking about and these are just normal everyday common orchids of course but Honestly, these, these orchids have been in flower for almost two years. It really is amazing. And these smaller ones, shorter varieties rather, uh, flowers from three to six months and that's quite normal. But what it, this is abnormal is abnormal about this row, these three that I have in front of me here. Let me show you. This was from the, uh, the original stem when I first bought the orchids. And when that finished flowering, I snipped that off. And then a side one came out, uh, which is quite dried up now. And that was, that lasted for about six months. And then when that finished flowering, uh, another side stem shoot came out. And that is still in flower with bud. It really is crazy. and. Again, that's what happened as well. At the same time, a, 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 a fresh stem came out with flowers there, as you see, I snipped it off. That was, that lasted for a long time. And then now, when that finished flowering, I snipped that off and then I've got another side shoot which produced a stem of blooms. That is absolutely amazing crazy isn't it and there goes to goes the same to my other one this one there you see that was from the original stem and then when that finished flowering I, I pruned that off and then there 
there was a side stem and it produced another lot of flowers. And then that gill goes the same to uh, there. There's another original stem and that finished flowering. That lasted for about six months. And then a side one came out, as you see there from my finger, a side one came out and that lasted months. And then after that, another side shoot came out, which has produced this very long, long stem of blooms. And that goes the same as well to the uh, one of that stem, because that originally had a flower for uh, many, many months. And then, then uh, after that finished flowering, I prune that off. And then this is the, the latest one. There, amazing. And then the third one, that same thing as well. This was the, uh, the original stem that had flower when I first bought it. And then when that finished flowering again, I pruned that off and the side shoot came out to produce, produce another long stem of flowers. Obviously this, is, this, this stem here was an extended of that, well, that, that stem. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to put it, but yeah, there you go. See, that was another original stem that had flower, bearing flowers. And when that finished flowering, a size shoot came out, which produced stems of flowers up to there, this point. And then when all that blooms fell off, uh, this origi original stem uh, kept on extending again and to, to produce another bunch of flowers. Look how long that stem is. It really is crazy. Do you know what? This could be a world record because this will probably continue to flower for another few months. God knows how long. It really is unbelievable. And I've always loved orchids. But ever since I've uh, got into rose growing, uh, I don't have that many. Probably only a few now, but these three ones are really, really been the favorite of mine. Just the, uh, the fact that they've been flower for so long two years and still counting wow it's for an orchid to flower up to two years even more i'm gonna say two years and six months really is something that's never never been heard of how crazy is that and these blooms have always been in flower when my garden is just gloomy just really puts a, a lovely big smile of, in my, on my face. This is the view I get from my dining room, looking out into the garden. And I almost get a, a 180 degrees view of my garden from inside my house. And that's what the, uh, the that installation of that pergola has done it's almost brought the uh, the house into the garden and vice versa the garden into the house and often i spend a lot of time in the morning just sitting here eating breakfast and enjoy my garden so it's really my top priority to maintain keep my garden as immaculate as possible and it, I know it's really hard for me because I just keep adding more and more and more so I really want a, a very tidy tidy garden otherwise I look like I've got a, a messy house but as I am stepping standing right here now I'm literally the garden just right in front of me So anyway, thank you for, uh, for coming into my house. And I have to apologize for, you know, keep blabbing on about orchids when I should be talking about roses. So yeah, let me just go and show you uh, some other roses that are in flower. Uh, Penelope Lively here is looking very, very good since I've given her a hard prune after the first flush. I think the reason why it's been floppy was because I didn't prune it hard enough the first year. So after the first flush this year, I've given her a, a pretty decent harder prune. So now it's given me very sturdy upright stems. 
so uh, she isn't really that bad after all. Well, the reason why I didn't prune her so hard was because she was very newly planted and really speaking, you're not supposed to prune newly planted rose that hard, so I didn't, so hence I had a, a very floppy, floppy Penelope Lively. But fingers crossed, uh, she'll, she'll perform a bit better and uh, not as floppy for me in the, in the near future. And some of my cordes is uh, very, very slow to repeat. Although still producing uh, a lot of buds, but I am afraid this cooler weather uh, that we are going to expect probably won't see the uh, the potential of these blooms. So let's wait and see. And I'll swing you across to have a look at the uh, princess. No, this is Elizabeth and this is a David Austin Rose and still producing a lot of small flowers and what's this one this is uh, poet's wife has a very floppy stem And then this is Lady Gardener. On her third flush, I think. Hmm, <laughs> lovely, lovely. I, I can never walk past a rose without giving it a sniff. <laughs> and this is Grace. Look at that clump of flowers really needs staking up because it's uh, hanging off the floor and a lot of these insects will uh, will eat away the blooms but what a sight that is isn't it grace really wonderful wonderful repeating rows yeah this is this part of the garden you see many times now and honestly they're really nothing to see but yeah princess alexandra kent of in flower still as I always say this is never a rose without flower and Leonardo da Vinci is producing a lot of fresh growth and a lot of blooms and what this time of the year I really hate are these these are a lot of caterpillar worms that start eating off your your foliage, Ooh, it's, isn't that horrible? I wonder if I could uh, flick it off my finger. Not, I'm not even going anywhere near those tiny little creatures. Yeah, this one uh, had a lot of yellow leaves a, a, a month ago and that all fell off and now it's producing a lot of uh, foliage, green foliage. And same goes to uh, Coco Loco here. And all, all the leaves fell out and now it's starting to produce a lot of fresh growth. Probably a bit late in the season to tell you the truth. So this would be a very quick, uh, quick look around my garden as a lot of uh, f roses aren't in bloom. And this one here is uh, bring me sunshine gorgeous gorgeous rose and it's really has grown a lot from being a bare root and this one here is what's down there very very overcrowded down there and this one is the ethel burger sink ethel burger i don't know what i'll do with that because i've got more roses coming uh, i might just dig that out and then uh, replace it with something really really nice because i I don't think I have that patience to wait another two, three years for it to mature. And Emily Bronte here with a very archy cane producing a bunch of flowers, but I will never get to see these flowers in its 
uh, beautiful form of course because it is very late in the season and I'll show you the, one of the blooms from uh, Bathsheba beautiful beautiful bloom with a beautiful scent wow I've got a, a space at the back of the garden which I will move her because she is really quite a, a monster of a rose to be in a pot and my lemon tree do you know what my wife sprayed the leaves hope thinking it was an insecticide to uh, to kill the insect but what she didn't know was in the in the bottle was the uh, tile cleaners so look at it all the leaves are all going brown oh my god look at that that's all falling off so she sprayed my uh, my lemon tree with tile cleaner so now the leaves are all gonna go brown it's really shame look at that look at these lemons oh my god it's gonna die oh my look the, the leaves are just simply falling off oh well that's my garden tour for, the, for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to make another one before the season's over. But that's it. Thank you for joining me again. And hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. See you again soon.